Hi guys, I'm Dr. PK. Today I want to help you sort the issue of a blinking switch with a service signal when the car is running. So the first thing, let's see how that switch is blinking. Let's go to our switch. Let's now start this car and see how this switch is blinking. This customer is complaining that when he turns this car to LPG, this switch starts to blink. Let's go. On. Finish. You see now our car is running. The LPG switch is on, but instead of this car running on LPG, because this is blinking, but it tells you that this car is not running on LPG. Let's switch off. Let's switch to LPG. You see? It takes few seconds to switch from petrol to LPG, but this one now, instead of turning to LPG, this switch starts to blink and it gives a service signal. So our first diagnosis that we are going to start, the first thing we are supposed to make sure that we have LPG in our reserve tank. Let's go and check from our reserve tank. Uh, this is our LPG tank, it's our toroid tank for 2 liters internal. This can should be filled by 80% of its 2 liters, which is approximately 36 liters to 37. So now, what we do, we have a level indicator here. This level indicator gives you the actual level of LPG in this reservoir tank. This bar, it tells you the level of the gas. And the level of the gas, it should be between 0 to 80% of this tank. See, this bar is at the lowest point. I hope my camera is capturing. It's at the lowest point. So this one, it tells you the truth. It tells you that this tank, it is empty. So now, for this case, this driver need not worry. Just go to the filling station, refill your gas, and you enjoy your ride. For this case, you see this, uh, this level indicator, it is at our 80%. So now this one tells us that for sure, this LPG reserve tank, it has gas inside it. So now before we leave here, we also need to check this solenoid valve. This is the one that usually releases the gas from the cylinder to the furrow pipe and it takes it to our reducer. So to be sure whether this one is okay, we have to do physical check. We check whether these connectors are okay. But for this case, they are okay. Then we need to switch on and off and we listen whether it is going to produce a clicking sound. Let me try to switch it and we see. Yes. Yes. As you can hear, it is producing a, click, a clicking sound. So that one tells you that this solenoid valve, it is opening. So now we have to, to, to think of something else apart from this solenoid valve. And this one, we return it properly. We are going to open it after we are through. Let's take our solenoid valve from the front. So here we have another solenoid valve. And we have our injectors connector. Let's check whether our injector connectors are okay. And remove this one slowly. This is our injector, it's W01-4, but it is, for this case it is used for three cylinders. So now we have our connectors, we have our three connectors. This one, the fourth one has been omitted because this car, it is a three cylinder car. But if you can see, you check whether they are tightly loose. These connectors, they have a tendency of going loose due to excessive vibration as a result of rough terrain and potholes on our road. For this case, if you look at them, they are properly fixed. You know this clip, it should be inside. So this one is okay. And return it. Run it properly. It's okay. So now we have another solenoid valve here. This solenoid valve, it is the one that releases this gas from the reducer. This is our reducer or evaporator. 
it releases this gas from our reducer to our injectors. So now, this one also has a tendency of going loose due to vibration, excessive vibration. But for our case, if you have a look on this, this one you can see, it is not fixed. So this one tells you, this solenoid valve, it is not functioning. So we fix it properly. It has clicked. It has clicked. You see, fix it properly and you make sure that it's, it's well insulated. Let's now test. Let me switch to LPG and we see whether it is going to click. It has clicked. It has clicked twice. Now it has stabilized. Have a look at our LPG switch, it has already now stabilized. This one is telling you when this bar is not blinking, it tells you now this guy is running on LPG. See now, to take like three to four seconds, and then it switches to LPG. So this one is fine. Let's switch it off. At the ignition, the switches should come on. Then when you ignite the car, will take like two seconds then to stabilize tells you that this guy is running on time. This is excellent. Like my YouTube channel, subscribe, leave your comment there. Let's meet you in the next video. Thank you.